I was just stood at the side of the stage whilst the speakers uh, were doing their thing, and I wrote down a couple of questions, and I wanted to ask Craig first. These are amazing stories. I hope you'll agree. But are these people exceptional? Are they different? Are they not the norm? Thank you for the question, Tom. I think uh, all of us can agree that having heard these stories today, that the individuals uh, and, uh, that we've heard from are truly uh, exceptional. The program in scouting takes ordinary people and turns them into extraordinary leaders who go on to make a positive contribution uh, in their communities. And one of the joys that I have in my role is hearing stories like these every day of the week. We have 50 million scouts around the world who are doing very similar actions in villages, towns and cities in every corner uh, of the planet. And after having, hearing these, having heard these stories today, if anyone was ever in any doubt about the ability for scouting to create a better world, I think we've heard the evidence here today. We should take great comfort that the world is in safe hands with leaders uh, of tomorrow like those that we've witnessed here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good answer, good answer. Now, Lars, I want to move us on a little bit to more the business concept, uh, which is what the World Scout Foundation is. We have a number of investors, a number of potential investors in the room. What would your advice be to them as an investor yourself? <clears throat> Thank you very much. Um, actually, I would invite all these investors to look upon the young people we have just listened to and not only as young people, but actually as citizens of a country that you, are not, that you haven't heard about. Because these 10 or whatever people are citizens of a country called Scouting. And have you imagined how large that country is? It has a head of state, His Majesty sitting right here. It has a prime minister, he sits there. It has 51 million young people under training in 1.5 million different locations around the world. It has another 600 million people who have completed the training. So with about 600 million people, it is the third largest nation on the planet. And that's where you guys should invest. But let me take you a little further and look upon that nation. It is the only nation in the world which has a purpose. And that purpose is to form tomorrow's leaders and put them into action, provide them opportunities to make the world a better place. So that is a country with a purpose. It's also a country with values, which is explained in very, very simple legislation which is called the Scout Law. It can be written on the backside of a stamp. It's very, very simple. And it's about the values of that country. Uh, it has a, a very modest central government. So it's, it's actually, that's not where your money will go. The central government of that country has about 300 people. And only about 100 of them earn a salary. 200 aren't earning anything other than the joy of doing it. So a country with 600 million people with a central government at about 300, that's not too bad. If you take the entire public sector, which is everybody that receives a salary, it's 10,000. And can you imagine a country with 600 million who only have 10,000 salaried employees? That country is worth investing in because it's not defined by a certain area such as Mexico. It is everywhere in the world. And the citizens of that country are in every corporation, every government, everywhere. And they are not doing the, uh, some of them are doing the sweeping of the floor, but really where they are is at the top. So you are investing in a country with 600 million people who are changing the world already. And your investment, of course, has to make a return because this already exists. And the investment that I invite you to 
join us in doing is to invest doubling that country. So it will have more than a billion people, uh, more than a hundred million young people under training. Uh, and if we can do that, and I'm convinced we can do it before 2023, right? Correct. If we can do it, then I think the, the enormous difference, positive difference, that scouting is making to the world already could double. And then I think the world would be a much better place. May I quote the Prime Minister of my country, who uh, at one occasion said, uh, frankly speaking, if I am to talk about and define what scouting is, to me, it is the strongest community in the world. And he added, it is the community that has the largest social impact whatsoever of any community or country. So that's where I think you should put your dollars or pesos or whatever it is. That's at least where my family puts ours. So get going. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar.